Good morning guys, it's 8 a.m. Um, I am dressed to go on a run. I was hoping to go earlier this morning, but that didn't happen. Um, I'm actually just gonna get some work done. I have a FaceTime therapy session at nine, so it's eight now. Gonna make breakfast, do some work, send in a video, do the therapy session, and then go on a run, and then get my work day started. Um, today is a pretty productive day. It's actually pretty exciting. Um, my, I'll talk about this a lot more later, but I have an anti-racist workshop for my management company. It's been like, we have to do two a year now, I think, which is really cool. So anyways, we'll talk about that later. We're taking fits to meet my mom and my stepdad tonight. It's going to be a good day. Um, I've been loving vlogging lately. It's just been so fun. So anyways, going to head downstairs. So nice out today, nice and gloomy, which is why I couldn't get up at six because if you lay in bed on gloomy in mornings, it's literally the law. Might even have this door open. The absolute best yogurt literally ever. I also, best granola ever. Wait, okay, I have a question. What, um, if you guys get this, what flavors do you guys get? Cause I've been seeing like, um, I think you guys want a sweet and salty one or something like that. That's really popular. Beautiful, beautiful. Also, this is a very niche um, group of people. But anyone who's gotten their hardwood floors redone in Dallas, give me good recs because I want to get hardwood all upstairs, especially now with the puppy. Um, I probably can't like I shouldn't be spending money like that for a while But I just want to know like how much you guys think it will be what I should do where I should go if you guys have good recommendations And then just because I'll be getting that out there. It'll probably have to be like restained or something um, But yeah, that is the plan and I also don't know what color I want like I had light gray in my LA house But I don't know I kind of like I don't know I used to think I would hate this but I just don't know what I want, so. Also guys, the fact that like I just totally forgot I was even gonna ever redo that backsplash. Just totally forgot, honestly. And I like the counters, so like I won't redo those. But I still need to get um, handles on the cabinets, which my brother-in-law can do for me, so I actually just need to hire, not hire, um, need to order the handles, and then that will be done, and that will look so much better, because my mom told me that this would happen, but, <laughs> Um, you know, moms are always right. She's like, you need to get handles because you'll start chipping and like This is the one that we use the most and of course it started chipping. Terrible is getting in trouble yet again guys Um, anyways, I'm exporting a vlog that I need to send in. It's 8.58. I have therapy in two minutes But it's on FaceTime today, so I need to go to my office and my phone on the phone charger I actually made coffee that I'm going to drink Amazing love this um, and then after I'm gonna go on a run so I need to finish this now because I don't want to drink it right before. Also, I never put milk in it, so it's just the whole experience. It's weird right now. So Coco's downstairs and she has this new toy. I'll show you guys later. So my dad showed it to me and like literally these dogs are obsessed. You can't, she's not even gonna let me show you. Coco, can you show them the toy? There, you guys can kind of see it. Okay, well, whatever. Anyways, she's obsessed with it. And my dad's dogs are too. So I'll have it linked down below in case any of you guys are dog parents all right guys just finished therapy it was so great um i'm about to head to my dad's i want to go run on the treadmill um honestly running outside i feel like it's just harder so i want to go on the treadmill today because today is i think a hard run i don't know i haven't really i've been a little bit off my game the past week just because my friend was in town so i missed actually i only missed one run now that i think about it but I'm going out of town on Wednesday. So I'm gonna run today and tomorrow and then figure it out from there. I'm about to listen to this podcast. Um, Monique is doing the anti-racist training today and she gave us some podcasts to listen to. So anyways, I'll give you guys an update. I'm really, really excited for this. Basically, my management company requires us now to have anti-racist training twice a year. So I'm really excited. I think that's like the best thing ever. Um, Anyways, gonna listen to this, head to my dad's, and go run. All right, guys, I'm back. Like, I wanna get a treadmill for my garage. I wish that I had a three-car garage now. Um, but I feel like it will just be so crammed, and I kinda like the drive, the separation, you know what I mean? Guys, the actual golf cart 
looks so funny to me. It looks like a carriage. Like, why does that look funny to me? Maybe it isn't funny, it just looks like a carriage to me. I don't know. All right, guys, I just finished. I am gross. It's 35 minutes. Ooh, the lighting. Um, Harley came to join me. Girl, is that Lee? Hi. This is our Labradoodle, my dad's, which this is like my puppy growing up. I love you so much. You're gonna meet Fitz. And then we also have another Golden Doodle, but he doesn't have the curly hair. He has like a really weird um, coat. But when Harley's hair grows out, she's like the Labradoodle of the year. Best dog ever. She seriously was the easiest dog to train and just the best dog and I love her. All right guys, just showered, did my makeup, got ready. The I did an Instagram live during my makeup, so if you guys want to see that, it's on my IGTV um, full get ready with me. I've kind of changed up products that I've been using recently and actually been doing a little bit more makeup than normal. Um, I'm wearing my favorite girlfriend denim jeans and then this long sleeve top from Princess Polly. It's originally the Ragged Priest though. And then just my normal jewelry. All right guys, it's noon. I'm eating some lunch. I made salmon, vegetables, sweet potatoes. I'm gonna get some editing done. I have a big to-do list today. So I'm gonna get as much done as ever. This is gonna be like a power two hours, basically. The other day in a vlog, I asked you guys when I was going into Halcyon, I showed you guys Val's because it's just like next door on Greenville Avenue. So many of you guys said Val's is so good and I love cheesecake. And then to make matters even better, um, it's a black owned business. So if any of you guys are in Dallas, you guys need to go. I really, really want to go. Maybe I can talk um, Q or Sav into going today because it just looks so good. I'm so excited. All right, guys. So um, it is almost 3 p.m. It's 2.59. I'm on my Zoom call. Um, obviously, the workshop is on Zoom, but it's really cool. It's an anti- Oh, got to go. All work forms of perpetuating white supremacy. So it can look like wearing hats that say make America great again. It can look like having a Confederate flag outside of your place of employment or your home. It can look like not believing the experiences of people of color. This is why when people of color say something is racist, it's racist. It's not open for debate. It's not open for negotiation. Our lived experiences are not an intellectual endeavor for you. And so if I say that something is racist, then it's racist. I'm the one who gets to decide that, not the white person, not the one who's in the position of power. Um, and there are multiple ways. There are multiple ways. These these are just some examples. So I encourage you to, to look up to find this and to do some time, take some time in looking into that. Um, even celebrating the 4th of July. You know, as you get ready to go into the 4th of July this weekend, understand that the 4th of July is a holiday that many black people do not see as a holiday and a time for celebration. Because understand that when the Declaration of Independence was signed, there was literally a black person who was enslaved in the room at the time it was being signed. Thomas Jefferson, when he was signing that, drafting that. Also understand that for nearly a hundred more years, black people were still enslaved in this country during a time where white folks were celebrating independence. So for to watch and to see so many white people celebrate the 4th of July, for a lot of black people, it feels like another way in which you are weaponizing your whiteness and reinforcing white supremacy and erasing the pain and ignoring the pain of black people um, that, and specifically black people, but as well as people of color, indigenous folks as well. Also remember, we just came off of celebrating Juneteenth. How many of you did not acknowledge Juneteenth, but are so excited and ready to promote the 4th of July? And so finished the workshop. It was about an hour and a half. It was really incredible. Um, first off, I just want to say, I feel like, I mean, I haven't heard of any management companies doing this, so I'm really like grateful to be a part of my management company. So, like I mentioned before, we now have um, like anti-racism workshops that we're doing, which is really cool. Um, we did it, I'll show you with, it's Monique Melton, she's a podcast, Shine Brighter Together. Um, I listened to three podcast episodes earlier and I said, life hack, um, listen to your podcast on, two on times two when you're running, because for some reason it really helps me, I don't know. But anyways, I listened to three of her podcasts earlier, really helpful, and she also does like workshops and stuff. I think it's really important like obviously there's a lot of like free content out there to learn about this stuff but i think you know it's really important to like actually sign up for workshops and like buy the books and kind of just like invest 
financially um, where you can, even if it's like a donation or whatever, because it's like such taxing work. Also, it's their job, so don't just take advantage of like um, all the free resources. Anyways, my management company has made it a requirement that we do anti-racism workshops. We have to complete two a year, um, and like if I would have missed this one, I would have had to make it up within the next month um, and like paid for it on my own and all that stuff. Which I didn't miss it, but obviously like always down to do more classes. It was really awesome. So I'll have her specifically, Monique, linked down below. She was really great. I loved the workshop. Um, but I really encourage any of you guys, especially if you guys are like an influencer management company of any sort that's watching this, or if you guys are influencers, I would definitely recommend um, sharing it with your team because I think it's really important. Like my manager was on it. Um, all of the team was on it actually. There was like 50 of us total. So anyways, um, that was really incredible. It was just, yeah, it was really good. So I'll link her down below. I would definitely recommend. I am about to go film a few things. It's 4.37. I want to be, I wanted to leave my mom's by five, but that's just not going to happen. I think we're going to leave around six. So I'm going to go curl my hair really quick. Like literally do five minute curls and then film an IGTV video for book recs. And then, um, like a few things for TikTok. It's like such a ridiculous thing that I'm like, I need to go film for TikTok. I know, but we're gonna get that all situated. Also, there is a um, bonus episode of the podcast this week with Maddie and Lauren Orlando, cutest girls ever. It was like a sister episode. We also did like a what I wish I knew at 16, 13 different ages because um, Lauren's a lot younger than us. Maddie and I are actually the same age, but I think she's like maybe one year older than us. Anyways, it was a really cool episode because it's also the youngest guest I've had and we also talk about TikTok on there. So go check it out, link down below. So I changed into sweats officially. I'm just gonna show you guys how I curl my hair with this curling iron. I know I recently showed you guys um, how I've been curling my hair. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Um, okay, this is literally so painful. I know I recently showed you guys how I've been curling my hair with my dry bar three day bender in another vlog and um, it, this is honestly like the same kind of idea so it's nothing crazy but just wanted to show you guys how I've been getting like a lot looser waves I also just think it ends up like second day just kind of looks like I got a blowout which is kind of nice because typically I would have already like brushed it all out by then it's kind of been like a typical day in my life like Texas day in my life um, maybe not as much like, you know, spending time outside. I actually have gone on a few walks. I just didn't really vlog them. I've been doing that obviously a lot with the new puppy. Slash I also just, like I actually love that I just go to puppy because it, while it's already in my routine to go on a lot of walks, even though Fitz can't really like walk yet, like he's not really, um, he's not really there yet, you know? Also he's just, he's so small, it's hard and we don't really want to bring him to like highly populated areas. So we like take him outside really. Um, I really like that because I think just going on walks throughout the day is really helpful for me, especially when I work from home. That's something that I really, really, um, think is important, just like mental health wise even. So, this is the Babyless Pro Babyless, how do you pronounce it? My sister's a hairdresser and says Babyless, I think, so I'm gonna trust her. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking, um, in our Dallas Facebook group, if you guys didn't know, we have like the big Facebook group, which is so much fun. And we also have a Dallas one. So if you guys are a Dallas girl, um, or moving to Dallas or whatever, I've seen a lot of you guys are moving to Dallas and a lot of you guys have like made friends and it's really cool to see. But um, a lot of you guys have been asking for hairstylists in Dallas. My sister does my hair. She's the best, but she's in Frisco. So if any of you guys are looking for a new hairdresser, she's super fun. She's in North Dallas. Frisco's in North Dallas, obviously. So. Yeah, I just changed into comfy clothes to go to my parents for dinner. Sav's so gonna meet us. They all really want to meet Fitz, of course. Our angel, love him. Um, yeah, I'm like really, I feel like more inspired than I have been in a while, which has always happens right before I'm going out of town. But there's so many like IGTV videos, like just I want to take things to like the next level, not even necessarily like overly produced or anything like that. Um, I feel like you guys don't really like that in my videos. Let me know if you guys would like them to be edited better or whatever but I feel like most of the time from what I've gathered from you guys you guys have really liked um, them to just be like a little bit more chill but there's just like so many videos that I really want to do that I'm excited about um, even like videos with other people in Dallas that will be cool 
I'm just like really looking forward to it. And like podcast stuff, guests. All right guys, here's my outfit now. Um, here's the thing, these are my favorite outdoor voices sweats. These are in a size, I wanna say small. The size I need is a small, yeah, these are size small. My gray ones fit perfectly. The only problem is that like, in these I feel like there's just extra fabric in the butt. So it like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, at the top? I don't know. So it ends up looking like I'm wearing a diaper sometimes. But, this is my look. I'm just going to my parents' house so it like doesn't matter. Also guys, isn't this just so peaceful? I love this. I actually really want to replace my bed and my nightstands already, which I hate that I want to do that already, but so annoying. Also, I still haven't returned my parachute home shams that came. I got the wrong kind, so need to do that. All right, guys, finished filming my IGTV book influencer video. Also, some TikToks. Don't mean to toot my own horn, but kind of a TikTok star at this point, so... Um, me with my 4,000 followers, but um, yeah, here's what I'm wearing. I'm about to take the dogs to my parents. I'm actually really hungry, so hopefully there's a great meal awaiting us. Guys, we're about to leave. Fitz, we're just hanging with Dolly. I literally cannot wait for the day that I actually take a photo here and my caption is working 9 to 5, but hi. Hi, baby boy. Hi. I love you. Just woke him up from a nap. He went on a walk with Q. I think while I was on that session, right? Did you? I think that's what you did. So, Coco is just running around. This is Quentin's favorite song he just shared with me. Um, okay, so we're on our way. Coco is just chilling in the back. I feel like I've already updated you guys so many times on how Coco is doing. I've already updated you guys on how Coco is doing so many times, but uh, truthfully, she just couldn't care less. She's already very independent, and I feel like I'm smothering her with attention to like make sure because obviously we have to give a new puppy like a lot of attention hey bud um and she just doesn't care like she really just i don't know she's always been a girl who just likes her time alone and she's just chilling okay so anyways um wow guys did you know that quinta can actually sing fun fact okay but what i was saying well fitz is wow what are you planning on doing here Anyways, I was doing an Instagram Q&A just now and people kept asking about me and Q breaking up and I jokingly said like we didn't break up, we just were social distancing for six weeks and a few people got so angry, not you guys, um, but they were like, oh my gosh, you said you broke up, blah, 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 like I was just kidding, I was being so sarcastic, um, we literally broke up for six weeks, it was literally a joke, um, but anyways, yeah, people were mad, so you win some, you lose some, I thought it was funny guess not but a lot of you guys my real true friends on here uh, messaged me and you thought it was funny wow you look so cute look at this beautiful view that you have in the great state of texas you are so lucky to live here you know that oh he's really ready to get out of the car which is a little bit frightening because we're going on a longer trip with him this week and uh you know we're gonna do our best good thing he sleeps most of the day like guys are you joking? Like, just look at this angel that we have here. Fits the angel, not fits the terrible. Fits the angel, don't forget it. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, these things are so freaking good. Wow. Let's see it, Sam. Uh-huh, yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Ooh, oh, we're, this is a weird piece of box. Why is like, this, something why is is this like this? Something about this is just off. Oh, <gasps> wow, looks so good. Chicken parm, wow. Okay, okay guys, just me and the pups. Um, I'm in the car because I'm waiting for Sav and Q. We're actually gonna go over to my sister's house really quickly. It's really sad because my sister, well, it's actually not sad for Coco. Coco is staying with my sister for the week because Q and I are going on a little road trip and originally there were gonna be no dogs, as in like no Coco because, you know, she was the only dog and then we got 
Fitz and I don't want to leave like obviously our new puppy with someone else so Fitz is going on the road trip with us but it's just too much to bring two dogs right now and Coco already well Maddie was already planning on watching Coco with her dog for the week so that's what we're doing I'm actually gonna have a very hard time being away from Coco for a week regardless because we spend every second of the day together hi how are you so yeah <sighs> It's what's best for Coco. Coco was not gonna wanna go on this road trip and like there's really big dogs. Sav's going, meeting us there. There's really big dogs where we're going and it's just like, it's not ideal for her, but it is pretty ideal for him. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna like actually be so sad when she, it's not even gonna be a full week, but we're just gonna drop her off tonight because my family lives like 45 minutes away and I don't really have time to drop her off tomorrow. So, oh Coco, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm like really getting emotional guys. This is kind of ridiculous Fitz, you're so crazy You're so crazy, but she's gonna have fun because Kobe. Oh, and we're gonna go take Fitz to go meet my sister, too and Fitz is gonna meet his cousin Kobe and you and Kobe are gonna be great pals because you guys have similar energy levels. So Coco, I'm literally gonna cry. I love you, girl. You're gonna have so much fun. I'm gonna cry. We're gonna have so much. Oh my god, please. I need you to Maddie's watching Coco for the week. The thing about Maddie is that you just have to catch her on a good mood and uh, it's just- She did, she got a little bit of Fitz action. Yeah, it's really hit or miss, but I'm actually gonna cry Wait, Coco, I wanna show so. them my little nephew. Oh, now she's in a good mood. Oh, oh say I love my Aunt Maddie. I know, I know, okay. <laughs> Hi. Wow, say okay. Hi. Coco, where'd you go, girl? Oh, she, oh my God, I'm literally gonna cry. Coco, you're gonna have so much fun. You're gonna have the best time. You're gonna have the Coco. best time ever, Coco. I love you, girl. And Maddie's gonna have a really cute. You're gonna have so much fun with you. Kobe and Maddie. Yeah, we're gonna have the best oh my gosh. Time the she she's Guys, I'm having a really sad time with this leaving Coco, my bestie. I know I'm being so dramatic. I don't know why I'm actually so emotional about this. It's kind of embarrassing. Also, I just wanna say I know I'm gonna get hate comments because we just got a new dog and then Coco's going to stay with my sister for the week, but. This trip had on her watching Coco had already been planned and then we just happened to get Fitz. We were trying to get Fitz or just whatever dog we were getting after. But then we ended up getting him before the road trip and obviously I'm not gonna ask her to watch a puppy. Oh, all right, down here. Obviously I'm not gonna ask her to watch a puppy because one, that's just a lot even though she would have done it. But two, also like we need to be with him and training him and all that. Coco's really easy to take care of and train. And I also wouldn't want Coco, because we're going to see Quentin's family, and there's big dogs, and all this, like a lot of whatever, it's just a lot of added hassle. We wouldn't even be taking Fitz if Fitz wasn't so little. Oh my god, look at him right now. Oh my gosh, I miss Coco already. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm being annoying. We're gonna miss these days when we're holding him. I know. He's like a little baby. We're gonna watch these vlogs so many times, we never watch vlogs either. We're gonna show these vlogs when Fitz gets a girlfriend one day? Yeah. Little girl pup? Little girl pup, but we'll make them watch. All the baby videos when he has a big belly? <laughs> Guys, I haven't even, like we haven't even gotten to the car yet and I already texted Sav, because Sav's there to see if Coco's okay. So anyways, I also wanted to say these vlogs are not only gonna be about, um, you know, my dog parent lifestyle, but uh, that's currently what's happening in life. So it actually feels really great out right now. Summer <sighs> in I miss Coco. Guys, oh, you, oh my gosh. I'm dying, he's so cute. The little angel is so tired. Oh, wow. Busy day. <gasps> Guys, I wish I was recording because I didn't know that this was gonna be the package. Quentin. She just <laughs> freaked. She no. Oh, <gasps> Guys, I'm literally dying. Oh my gosh. Let me get the part out. Okay. Guys, it's a Dolly Parton koozie. I'm literally dying. Kelsey Ann Designs. Um, this is the info, her business card, but it's just Kelsey Ann Designs on Instagram. Oh my gosh, no guys, I'm literally like losing my mind. Wow. Guys, this is just absolutely not real. I have another package. Um, I will have this Instagram link down below, but they actually made me, I believe I, I want to say I vlogged it. But maybe it was on the one day that I wasn't vlogging. I got it in the mail. They gave me an IOISM little embroidered crew, which was so cute. Then they gave me a tank top. 
And then, guys, I had no idea this was even coming. It's a pink Dolly Parton fan club. Like, this is just not real. This is literally the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I just love these. That's so cute. I'm truly feeling on top of the world because not only did I come home to not one, but two. You know what? The signing is so much better. I just posted an Instagram story saying this, but like not only did I come home to not one, but two packages in like some sort of Dolly Parton fashion. Um, my license arrived finally, and so this is a big end of a chapter of my DMV series for the past six months. We are done. I finally have my like not, I finally have a working ID that um, is in Texas and is not expired and is actually up to date with my current everything, you know? So it's really truly been my week. Also, let's just go back and look at these cute Dolly Parton koozies. <gasps> Guys, I said this in a vlog where I talked about how I was getting these in the mail soon and I don't drink anything with the koozie. Oh, you know what? My recess drinks. I love those. I need to order some of those. That would fit these. I feel like anything that I drink that's in a can, like my matcha ones, are also like really thin. You know what I mean? So, um, recommend drinks down below that would fit in these koozies because obviously I'm going to have to make a lifestyle change just to use these. Like, I are you kidding me? Best thing ever. Seriously. Wow. All right, I guess I'm gonna end this vlog because there's just, you know, I need to go to bed, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I've been loving vlogging lately and just filming, and I feel like I have so many video ideas and so many things I wanna do, but I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Subscribe, um, comment down below, 1146, if you guys made it this far. Love you guys, bye.